this is our seventh year of Four Days of Dance. Um, each year we bring in different groups. Sometimes we have dance studios, sometimes we have high schools, sometimes we have professional groups. Oh, it's the biggest show of the year. It's all, it means a lot. And it means a lot to be in like solos or duets or any sort of thing like that. And it's so cool that she's incorporating technology into it this year. Our dancers are all Hillsborough Community College students and they are in our dance ensemble class. And if you're in the dance ensemble class, you can audition for work and different choreographers would select you and work with you in different pieces. This is art. Like this is, this heat right here <laughs> is like what's coming out of their mind. Like then they're putting it on our bodies. I think that's, that's amazing for somebody to just think this out, plan it out, like step by step. Like, oh, I want this person to do that. Or I want them to be right here and have that effect on an audience from whether a happy effect or a sad one. It's still, it's just amazing to me. Uh, this directly feeds into the HCC dance program because the technique that we use in the choreography directly reflects the technique that they learn in classes. Great teaching, lots of great topics, things, it helps you step outside of your box. Like, it's, it's not anything, it's not tricks, this is art. It's so much fun just going through everything, going to all the choreographers, seeing what they want, and if they want to use you, it's amazing. I mean, we're, all, we're pouring our heart outs on the stage right here. It takes a lot to come out and perform in front of people, and it was just, be amazing for someone to just come out and see what we have to offer, not come with an open mind. Come into the theater with an open mind on anything, really. Just learn to expect nothing. My concept is having somebody try to tell you what you are supposed to do, but you not wanting to do that. So I, I battle with my shadow in mind. Um, we used to green screen. And I was dancing in front of the green screen. We recorded that, and then we went into the final cut, and he shadowed me out. So all you see is a white shadow of what was me in the green screen. And I dance on the screen when it's projected, and then um, I'm actually on stage with my shadow. So it, it looks really cool. An event like this would create uh, preparation from the beginning of January all the way to April. So they've been working 10 to 16 hours additional every week. I'm here from 9.30 till about 10 o'clock at night. I get butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> and um, I also, I get like nervous at the same time. But once I stand out on stage and there's people and lights and there's Keith in the booth. It's just, it's nerve wracking, but amazing at the same time. I think I want the audience to feel like they're seeing something different in dance, that it doesn't just look like an average dance recital, that it looks like work that has artistic value and work that gets the audience to question what it's about.